All right, I was doing a project and I needed some uh, Schottky diodes, some small signal Schottky diodes, and it called out a BAT85. And so I went ahead and ordered some on uh, AliExpress, uh, $1.50 for 100, uh, 100 diodes. Um, and it, uh, in the meantime, I had purchased some small, some old school small single Schottky diodes, a 1N7511. And um, in my bins, I also had some 1N34s and then some nondescript ones here that I think are 1N34. Uh, so, so why are some Schottky and one are not? So these are super old school. These are germanium diodes, okay? A 1N34 is a germanium diode. And if you wanted to have a very low voltage diode, one that instead of turning on at 0.7 volts, it turned on at 0.4 volts. In the old days, you would use a ger germanium uh, uh, diode. These are also popular in guitar pedals and other types of things where you want a low, a, a low, low amount of voltage for the clipping and stuff. Now, these all in the circuit that I was working on would perform basically the same. They all have about the same forward voltage characteristics. But I'm really not quite sure if these really are 1N34s. I'm suspecting these may not be. These look like they would be because they're big and they're glass, but they don't have any markings on them. There's, there's no markings on these. There's no markings on these. Uh, these are fully marked and have good provenance. Um, and these I just got, so I'm assuming they are what they are, but who knows? It's from China, right? So I thought, first of all, we would look at the forward characteristics of these diodes and see if one would use one over the other, right? And then... Um, I think we'll be able to examine the reverse voltage characteristics of these diodes, and that will give us a clue of which ones are actually germanium, which ones are actually Schottky, um, and see if there's any, any if there's any differences there. Anyway, it's an excuse to use my curve tracer, so uh, that's the video today. All right, so we're going to be testing these diodes, um, 100 millivolts per division and 1 milliamp per division. So it's 10 milliamps up at the top here. And you can see we're at about 0.4 volts um, forward voltage on the diode. And it looks like a diode, right? Uh, this one is the um, clear package. I believe this is a, a 1N34 in a clear package, but it's not marked. So anyway, that's the way that one looks. All right. All right, here's a bag that I have marked 1N34s, but I think they're probably just shot keys. But we will take a look. And they look kind of the same. Maybe the this line is a little bit straighter on the shot key. I don't know. We'll call those suspect, suspicious right now. Um, and, okay, so we did that one. Uh, let's do the... Uh, new diodes that I just received. All right, this one is marked BAS85, and it looks pretty similar to that last one we just looked at. So I think these are both shot keys right around 0.4 volts of uh, forward voltage. All right. And then we will take a look at the 1N511, which is pretty old. And look at this one. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, res so whenever you see a straight line, that's a resistive element. So when it starts turning on here at uh, one milliamp, from one milliamp to about six milliamps, it's a resistor. And then it starts doing its diode thing, okay? Let's run it up a little bit farther. And yeah, then it becomes a diode, but it's got this weird weak knee. We call this a weak knee um, on the diode, okay? And it goes up to, uh, at two milliamp, two four, at 20 milliamps, it's now up to uh, 0.8 volts. So yeah, not the best diode in the world. Um, this one's so weird. Let's get out another one of these uh, 1N 5711s and see if they all behave the same way. Um, it's interesting to look at old parts and see how bad they were. <laughs> um, we've gotten a lot better. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, so these parts are very, very strange. 
All right. Okay, so uh, let's look at the reverse characteristics. Uh, we'll go back to that original one. And uh, let's make sure he's still doing his thing, yeah. Now we're gonna look at the reverse characteristics. And so we'll put the, the uh, device into PNP mode. And now we'll be going left and down, okay? And we're gonna be putting in lots of voltages this time. So we'll go to here. I uh, will change it to 10 volts per division and 100 microamps. We're 100 microamps and 10 volts division. 10, 20, oh, 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 it's already turning on. Wow, look at that. Okay, so at 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, see, this one's just getting resistive and it's reverse. So this is the uh, clear package device that I believe is a real 1N34. And I think that probably says, yep, that's a 1N34. It has no reverse, reverse characteristics at all. Um, and uh, so let me show you the next one, which is the, what are labeled 1N34s, but I believe are shot keys. So we'll, we'll do a reverse on it. He goes out, he goes out, he goes out. Yeah. Oh, and then he breaks down really quick like that. Bang. So yeah, I think that's shot key behavior. So that's what he does. And then let's look at the um, Bat 85 that I just purchased. He goes out and out and out and out. And ooh, even better. Look at that. Ooh, way out there. He's not breaking down yet. Let me change the voltages here. Oh, there we go, starting to break down right there, which is at around 90 volts, 88, 88 volts, he's starting to break down. Um, so yeah, he's a nice one. And then let's, let's look at those old 1N 5711s. Let's see how they break down. Back range here. Oh. And they break down with a, with a weak knee as well. And so, yeah, yeah, those old shocky diodes weren't all that great. The new, the new ones are much, much better. All right, there we go. Now I know, I believe these are true 1N34s. These are these, uh, can I zoom? Yeah, can I zoom in? So you can see that there's these clear packages. They're pretty big compared to, uh, to a modern diode. They're the big package. So I think these are 1N34s for sure. These 1N34s are probably uh, shot key, um, small signal shot key. And then I have these guys here, which I just got, which are my BAT 85s, definitely shot key. And then uh, I've got my, uh, my uh, 1N 5711s, which are just oldy moldy and interesting. 